Hold your breath in what might just be a game over move against all pre-existing AIs. Elon Musk has announced the formation of his own AI company, XAI. Musk spilled the beans in an exclusive Twitter space. What's the big reveal? XAI, his brainchild, is about to change the perspective about AI by creating a super intelligence that's more focused on humanity. While others follow the same old routine, XAI is gearing up for something extraordinary. And in this video, we'll be running you through this exclusive Elon Musk interview on the Twitter space, focusing on the key details of XAI. So what is XAI? According to its website, XAI's goal is to understand the true nature of the universe, something a Twitter spaces attendee pointed out as, quote, vague, ambitious, and not concrete enough, which Musk countered with the fact that understanding the universe is the entire purpose of physics. In his own words, he says, quote, So I think it's actually really clear. There's just so much that we don't understand right now, or we think we understand, but don't in reality, end quote. He pointed to the Fermi paradox, which he summed up as, quote, If we are almost 14 billion years old, why is there not massive evidence of aliens? If anyone would have seen evidence of aliens, it's probably me. And yet, I have not seen even one tiny shred of evidence. I would jump on it in a second if I saw it." End quote. We've seen no evidence of consciousness thus far anywhere else, said Musk. It suggests that what we have is extremely rare. I guess you could reformulate the XAI mission statement as, what the hell is really going on? How will XAI approach safety? You can't call anything artificial general intelligence, or AGI, until it can solve at least one fundamental question, said Musk, because humans have solved many fundamental questions. The XAI's goal is to achieve a true AGI. The safest way to do that, according to Musk, is to build an AI that is maximally curious and maximally truth-seeking. In his own words, he says, I think to a superintelligence, humanity is much more interesting than not humanity. He pointed to all the planets, moons, and asteroids in our solar system, and he said, probably all of them combined are not as interesting as humanity. The right kind of approach to growing an AI, he said, is to approach it with that kind of ambition. XAI will avoid the morality problem, says Musk, which is another plus for Musk's maximally curious and maximally truth-seeking approach. Still on the morality problem, he mentioned that, quote, if you try to program a set morality, you can basically invert it and get the opposite, what is sometimes called the Luigi problem. If you make Luigi, you risk creating Waluigi at the same time. There's a significant danger, he explained, in training AI to be politically correct or training AI to not say what it actually thinks is true. If you look at where things go wrong in Space Odyssey, he added, it's when they tell Hall 9000 to lie. If you don't know, the HAL 9000 is an AI robot from the movie Space Odyssey. The lesson said Musk, don't force the AI to lie. Adding to this, Musk said, at XAI, we have to allow the AI to say what it really believes is true and not to be deceptive or politically correct. Adding that this will likely result in criticism, Musk said, but I think it's the only way to go forward, the rigorous pursuit of the truth, or the truth with the least amount of error. Where did Musk get the idea for XAI? According to Musk, OpenAI exists because, following Google's acquisition of DeepMind and extensive discussions with his friend Larry Page, the co-founder of Google, he realized that Page wasn't really taking AI safety seriously, at least not at the time. In fact, at one point, he called me a speciest for being too much on Team Humanity, I guess, commented Musk. To add to this, Alphabet, the holding company of Google, had about three quarters of the AI talent in the world, lots of money, and lots of computers, which didn't sit right with Elon. Hence, he decided, quote, we need some kind of counterweight here. The opposite of Google DeepMind, Musk decided, was an open source nonprofit AI, OpenAI, which Musk co-founded back in 2015. Because fate loves irony, said Musk, OpenAI is now a super close source and frankly precarious for profit. According to Musk, at the point where we are in humanity, artificial general intelligence is going to happen. So there are two choices, either be a spectator or a participant. He commented, quote, as a spectator, one can't do much to influence the outcome. As a participant, we can create a competitive alternative that is hopefully better than Google DeepMind or OpenAI Microsoft. Unlike Alphabet and Microsoft, he explained, XAI is not publicly traded. 
it is not subject to market-based incentives or non-market-based ESG incentives, which Musk said push companies in questionable directions. In his words, we're freer to operate and our AI can give answers that people may find controversial, even though they are actually true. They won't be politically correct at times, and probably a lot of people will be offended by some of the answers. But as long as you're trying to optimize for truth with the least amount of error, I think we're doing the right thing. Will XAI offer products? The company plans to release tools and products for both businesses and consumers, and it plans to do so soon. We're already working on a first release, one team member said. Hopefully in a couple weeks or so, we can share a bit more information about this. A Twitter Spaces attendee asked the group if they saw themselves as competition to OpenAI, which partnered with Microsoft, and Google Bard, to which Musk responded, Yeah, I think we're competition. We're definitely competition. XAI is just starting out, he explained, describing the company as embryonic. But the goal, he said, would be to make useful AI for consumers and businesses. There's value in having multiple entities in the game, he added. You don't want to have a unipolar world where just one company kind of dominates an AI. You want to have some competition. Competition makes companies honest. Will XAI use Twitter data? One session attendee asked Musk if he planned to use Twitter's data at XAI, a question to which Musk responded with a chuckle. Every AI organization, large and small, has used Twitter data for training, basically in all cases illegally. He pointed to the rate limits induced by data scraping which he said was bringing the system to its knees. It was either that or Twitter didn't work. XAI will use public tweets for training, Musk said, just like basically everyone else had. It's certainly a good data set for text training and arguably for image and video training as well, giving the reason that at a point, one runs out of human created data, he said. Really, for things to take off in a big way, AI's got to basically generate content, self-assess the content, and that's really the path to AGI is something like that, self-generated content that basically plays against itself. While pointing out the fact that AI is not vast amounts of code, he added, it's actually shocking how small the lines of code are. Instead, it's a lot of data curation, how the data is used, what data is used, the signal noise of that data, and the quality of that data is immensely important. He used humans as an example. If you, as a human, are trying to learn something, vast amounts of drivel or a small amount of high-quality content, Will Musk still promote AI regulation? Musk has been a vocal proponent of AI regulation in the US and abroad, even going so far as to recommend a halt on the development of the technology. We need some regulatory oversight, Musk said on Friday. It's not some perfect nirvana, but it's better than nothing. Enforcement is difficult, but we should still aspire to do something in this regard. One of the biggest arguments against AI regulation is that China will lead the US in AI technology because of the regulations in the US. However, Musk believes otherwise. He thinks China will regulate, but added that proof will be in the pudding. Musk mentioned that in a meeting with China, he pointed out that if they succeeded in creating a digital superintelligence, it could end up being in charge, forming the reason for his belief. He mentioned that, quote, the CCP does not want to find themselves subservient to a digital superintelligence. That argument did resonate. However, Musk did not comment on China's newly released guidelines on generative AI services, which mandate that AI tools offered to the public must adhere to the core values of socialism and not attempt to overthrow the socialist system. Is AGI closer than we think? When it comes to artificial general intelligence, we're missing the mark in the way things are currently being done, Musk said. By many orders of magnitude, it's basically that AGI is being brute forced and still actually not succeeding. What he's learned at Tesla, he said, is that we overcomplicated the problem. We were too dumb to realize how simple the answer was. But, you know, over time, we get a little less dumb. So I think that's what we'll probably find out with AGI as well. Once artificial general intelligence is solved, he said, we'll look back on it and say, why did we think it was so hard? Overall, XAI unveiling marks a significant step forward in the evolution of AI technology. Subscribe and tune in for more updates on AI today.